The big day has finally arrived. The passing out parade of the Pakistan Military Academy. Young cadets seem nervous while checking their uniform details for the umpteenth time. After all, they are the main stars and shortly will be marching out to the ranks of officers from the very training grounds they inhabited for the last two years. The academy adjutant wants all his gentlemen and lady cadets to be at their best as he mounts his elegant gray charger to lead them to the parade square. What makes Pakistan Military Academy stand out in the committee of military academies worldwide is the ideology to agitate a comprehensive being. A fine blend of body and mind after a rigorous training that spans over a period of two years. The outcome thus is not only one of the best human fighting machines in the world, but a cultured personality encapsulating a humane soul and an active mind, stimulating intellect and common sense. And to carve this product, a finest set of master craftsmanship is surely what is required. The ones who hardly err are spotless and perfect as a picture, hence a drill staff. The institution of the drill staff at Pakistan Military Academy dates back to October 1947, the time when the academy was first established with its first battalion called as Qaid Azam's own. So when Colonel Engel, in his capacity as Academy's first commandant, formally initiated the training of the first batch in January 1948, the drill instructors were very much part of the overall scheme. The fact that the main drill square is also named after the first Pakistani drill sergeant of the Academy, Rafiullah, itself speaks volumes of their integral position at Pakistan Military Academy. No wonder, thus, to be a drill staff is the dream of every junior-ranked soldier. Coming from humble backgrounds and with basic education, this position grooms these raw, non-commissioned officers to become the legendary icons through a painstakingly long and hard process that finally distinguishes them to be the instructors of the future top military command of the motherland. A cutthroat competition is thus witnessed when selections for a drill staff are made. It all begins at the respective units and centers, which nominate their best talent for the prestigious drill staff course to be conducted at the Pakistan Military Academy. Once at Pakistan Military Academy, after initial selections and scrutiny, the most eligible are hurled into the phase of additional trainings and tests. It all culminates into a full board interview as all the four adjutants sit to select the cream. On the basis of these recommendations, the best in the final list are called as and when the requirement arises. Naik Arshad, aged 32, is one such lucky soul who has qualified to be a drill instructor at the academy. अब पता है ड्रिल स्टाफ या ड्रिल इंस्ट्रक्टर बनने के बाद आप अपने इस शौक को मजीद नहीं कैरी ऑन कर सकोगे सर अगर देखा जाए तो पाकिस्तान आर्मी में उसकी अपनी एक जगह है और ये ड्रिल एज ए ड्रिल इंस्ट्रक्टर इसकी अपनी एक जगह है यहां पे ऑफिसर साहबान को تربیت दी जाती है यहां पे रहना भी मेरे लिए फर्क की बात है अगर मैं यहां से वापस चला जाता तो वहां जाके अपने इस शौक को बरकरार रखता अगर मैं इधर रुक गया हूं तो इंशाल्लाह इधर अभी अपनी जो Excited and thrilled, he seems eager to take on to his job. There are, however, fears and shortcomings on his end too, 
as he reports at Pakistan Military Academy to take up the cherished assignment. Soon he will be interacting with the cadets who hardly share his social, cultural and educational backgrounds. They speak a language he's hardly conversant with, while on the other hand, his diction sounds pretty unfamiliar to the cadets. The way out for Naik Arshad thus will be to remain silent, observe his senior instructor staff at Abnavaz, equip himself with the needed vocabulary, polish his communication skills, acclimatize with the Aviron of the academy, and then finally show his muscles when the time's right. It's exactly the same mill staff Rabnavaz was agitated through and judged by his performance was appointed as the company Havaldar Major or a CHM as commonly known in the academy. The uniform details coupled with his physical appearance are of utmost importance. The brass that he wears is always shining and so are his shoes. The sashes are spotless and the freshly shaved face beams with a crisp pair of mustaches. A normal day in staff Rabnavaz's life dawns much before the sunrise. It's three in the morning and still pitch dark when staff Rabnavaz leaves his bed to prepare for his daily chores which begin with the morning prayers. He then dresses up to proceed for the zero period, his first assignment of the day. As cadets emerge from their living accommodation, staff at Abnavaz scrutinizes their attire, gait and demeanor. Slightest deviation from the set standards is swiftly checked and may invite the cadets name and numbers entry in staff Rabnavaz's 